A lot of stories coming mm. out of that region after all of those tornadoes mm -hmm. there the other day, Brian. More than 130 tornadoes reported Thursday, Friday, wow. Saturday, and Sunday last week, and, and it's still ongoing in that area. Uh, showers and thunderstorms producing a number of tornadoes yesterday. We had 13 reports from Iowa down to Oklahoma, that same area that was hit last week. And as we take a look at how things are expected to shape up uh, over the next couple of days, we're expecting that severe weather threat to once again set up a little bit farther south this time. Central Texas with a level three risk into Oklahoma and south central Kansas, but you can see a few ongoing storms should fade, but they're expected to kind of reinvigorate uh, this afternoon uh, as uh, temperatures heat up up that way. We're out of the thunder threat for today and even through tomorrow, Wednesday into Thursday, a chance for thunderstorms returns, a general threat for late Friday and likely into the weekend as well. Uh, temperatures running above average. It's been the theme the last several days at a high officially of 77 degrees at PT airport upper 70s over much of the area compared to the norm our normal high is 75 records typically in the 80s and 90s will be closer to record highs the next few days but I don't think records are going to fall yesterday of course last day of April uh, April numbers in the book only an inch and about an inch and a quarter of rain fell at PTI airport that's only about a third of our normal rainfall during the month of April. April is typically one of our drier months. It's the 10th driest though April that we've ever seen on record and uh, certainly cut into our rainfall deficit was about four inches before uh, April began now cut down to about an inch and a half. As Adriana told us a little while ago, we've got some fog developing just east of the mountains, really stretching out from Wilkes County through portions of Yadkin, much of Surrey County into Patrick County, Virginia, uh, Martinsville and North Wilkesboro, both reporting visibility down to about a half a mile at this time. Temps over the area are in the mid to upper 50s for most, 60s, uh, just starting to see temperatures cool down closer to 60 degrees in many triad communities. Uh, most of the leftover rain is easing eastward. Not much of it got into the Piedmont triad late yesterday. There's that other front that's going to start to trigger some showers and storms across the south today. Flooding concerns in already flooded river zones from eastern Texas, parts of Arkansas and Louisiana. Good sun today here locally and warm. Highs in the lower 80s with a north wind at 5 to 10. We'll be close to 80 in the foothills today with more sunshine expected. A lighter breeze too. Even the mountains get in on the warmer temperatures with highs in the mid 70s this afternoon. It gets really warm tomorrow and Friday with highs in the mid 80s for the clouds and the rain will cool things down some this weekend.